Hey, a pleasure. Good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. This is going to be a reaction to Ryan Pulak re signing with the New York Islanders about four days ago. I've been doing a bunch of other videos, so I'm going to fit this one in right here. Um, the New York Islanders, of course, already re locked up Adam Pellick to an eight year extension at 5.75. So Pulak's going to have the bragging rights over Pellick. Crew gets paid a little bit much cheddar as Ryan Pulak is getting paid $6.15 million for his eight year extension, which he's, of course, able to grab since he is the property of the Islanders. Otherwise, you can just get the seven year contract if you go on the open market. It also features a full no trade clause in the first five years and a limited one over the final three. So that just goes to show how much Barry Trotz, how much Amarello really pride themselves in getting guys that are just very, very good cultural guys, but also very, very good productive guys on the ice, like the Adam Pellets and the Ryan Pulaks of the world, and they really rewarded those guys now, both with eight-year extensions, and Pulak with all these uh, no-trade clauses, I can't remember on the Pella contract, you can comment down below if anybody remembers what happened back in the summer when it came to any clauses on his. But he was, of course, going to be a pending unrestricted free agent. And if he hit the market, he was going to be one of the hottest commodities, along with uh, just recently resigned Matisse Ekholm so, in Nashville. So it was very good and very smart and very wise by the Islanders to lock him up. He's one of the best defensive defensemen mm -hmm. in the NHL. Obviously, Ryan Pulak's not going to blow you away when it comes to the offensive side of things. But I would say he's one of the top five shutdown defensemen, honestly, in hockey because that's what Barry Trotz turned him into. He's not one of the top five overall defensemen in hockey. Don't get my words twisted. But in terms of defensive, just pure defensive shutdown defensemen, I would say he's one of the top five overall shutdown defensemen in hockey. And he got rewarded for that. And, of course, last year he posted a career-high 22.27 minutes per game, so he keeps getting more and more minutes, and he keeps getting better and better each year by the numbers. So I think this was a very smart deal for the Islanders. Of course, Ryan Pulak is 27 right now, so when you sign these eight-year deals, you look for the success. That's why probably in the first five years he has the full no-trade clause, then just one that is a little bit more limited but they could move them after that because you try to get the first five out of eight year deals and then after that whatever happens is just kind of bonus money at that point for what you get from a player but this is a very smart deal very wise deal this is a player that keeps getting better and better and his course c4 and all that it keeps going up uh when it comes to him uh, when it comes to all those analytical numbers as well. But his defensive analytics especially are ridiculous. I mean, like I said, the Norris doesn't give enough votes for guys that are just defensive guys, defensemen. And he came in, 17 in the, 17th in the Norris last year with only 17 points in 56 games. So he even got some recognition from the voters. So that's what I'm saying. He's one of the best shutdown defensemen, just pure shutdown defenders. He's not going to do anything, obviously, overly sexy in the passing. An offensive game. But he did have 25 assists in 1920 and 15 assists last year and also 10 goals in that 19 and 20 season. So he can provide a little bit, but he is one of the best shutdown defenders and a very smart deal by the Islanders to lock him up for eight years along with Adam Pellet. This team is really built on building the great foundational pieces that Trot has developed really well on this team since day one. And that's what he's done with Pellet. That's what he's done with Pulak since he's been in there. And now they're rewarding them because they know that is how they're going to keep winning through having these great defensive defensemen and just great players that really buy into his system and really kind of execute his system to the best of their immaculate ways. And that's what both of those guys do. And now they have them locked up for eight years. So congratulations to you all Islanders fans for having Ryan Pulak and Adam Pellick locked up very smart and wise by the Islanders to do that. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up atop to keep the content going. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and congratulations to Ryan Pulak and Islanders fans on his extension.